Okie dokie, everybody. Welcome back. You're here at the Fox Den with Peter Voss, the Papa Fox, and we're going to continue playing Pillars of Eternity by Obsidian Ent Entertainment. Whoa, holy moly. When we last left off, we had gone back to Brackenbury. Um, try saying that ten times fast. Um, we had uh, given the medallion back to uh, this fellow here, and he's on his way back to Eric Lanfath. Um, I do believe... Right now, we are trying to go back to first fires. Um, actually, wait. Uh, no, no, we are not going to do that. We are going to go to the, uh, to, to, to the charred barrel in Brackenbury, which is where we were just at. So sure. let's go ahead and do that. I want to uh, get that resolved first before I go to first fires. So how are you all doing? I'm doing absolutely wonderfully. I just had myself a cup of coffee and put down my very young son to bed. Uh, I have the sleep magic after all. He just loves snuggling up to my uh, up to my arm. Just grabs it with both hands and latches on like a little uh, limpet. So there we go. Okay, there's Meriwith. If I wanted company, I'd go to the salty mast. Meriwith's gold tooth catches the candlelight. What is it this time? Someone at the old lighthouse in Andre's gift was looking for your ship. I didn't peg you for a liar. At least not from what I heard. She looks you over, narrowing her eyes. But that don't mean I believe you. She leans, le uh, leans in, her voice a low hiss. You better explain what gave you such an interesting notion. The last lighthouse keeper watched for your ship every day. It's all in the log. No! Her snarl flashes a gold tooth. She turned me out! We were poorer than fishermen who live here now. And when she learned I'd put food on our table with stolen coins, she told me that if she ever saw me again, it'd be the mercy of the gods. Her darkened eyes are filled with rage. I had nowhere else to go. And it was a rough life until I rose to captain. She ignored the Adirin advance to stay behind. I think she was waiting for you. She turns her eyes away. She was always so stubborn. I forget sometimes where, where I got it. She gulps down the rest of her wine. I'll go. Perhaps it'll give both of us some peace. Hmm. Well, there we go. That would be a story I'd like to hear more about, of course. Uh, they did a really good job with the writing in this game. It was very fantastic stuff. Ah, Return to Nia by the by the Lighthouse. Yeah, so uh, I'm doing absolutely wonderfully. Uh, again, I'm getting back into the swing of recording. I think I have a game plan set out for this channel. Uh, my next goal is to uh, get myself a bit of editing software uh, so I can actually start doing some nifty things with that. Um... I also need to get some uh, artwork and music commissioned for the channel. Uh, just a little bit of uh, something to help spruce it up a little bit, make it look a little more homey and inviting to everybody. Um, I'm getting very close to finishing up my Brigador uh, uh, Let's Play. So I think what I'll be doing, uh, the two games that I have my eye on that I really want to do, uh, Golem by Longbow Games, and Battletech by uh, Hairbrain Schemes are not out yet. They're, they're slated to be out in early 2018. So we'll see um, we'll see exactly what <laughs> what what's going to happen with that. Um, but uh, in the meantime, I think what I'll do is I'll start playing uh, the Banner Saga. I mean, it's a very nice game. If you've never played it, I would strongly suggest doing so. That's by Stoic Games, and it's basically heavily influenced by Norse mythology and all of that. And, oh, it is it is amazing. Uh, there's no voice acting, so it's a, a kind of a reedy-reedy, talky-talky game. It's more like a choose-your-own-adventure thing. Um, it It's very... Um, I'm not going to say simple, but it's very... In terms of its graphics, it's very um, clean-cut, I think is a good way of putting it. Uh, it's it's not something that's overly elaborate, and it is just a beautiful game. Uh, the artwork for it, for it and the storyline is what they really focused on. 
And there is a bit of tactical or strategy, uh, turn-based strategy in there as well. Uh, Nia. Well met, friend. You'll never guess what happened. Nia points to the lighthouse. I was keeping an eye out for you, and who strolls down the dock but Merewith herself? You should have seen the stare she got. But she walks right into the lighthouse, never a word to anyone. And just when I'm sure she's met some awful fate in there, she strolls right out, still saying nothing to nobody. Now I'm hearing all sorts of rumors about Merewith and the last lighthouse keeper. She shakes her head. I don't know what to believe, but everyone else around here is convinced that the place is safe again. I've even got a construction crew ready to start work. She takes a deep breath, a big, contented smile on her face. And now I know I've got you to thank. Here, this is for you. Come back when you when the renovations are done. I've got big plans for this place. Ooh, wonderful. Cool. Uh, let's actually go back up to the tippy top of the tower. Uh, I want to make sure that there's no loot that we haven't uh, left around. I'm glad we were able to resolve that without killing the Banshee. Oh, oh, wow. Those renovations were <laughs> handled quickly. How do you like what I've done with the place? She dusts her hands on her clothing. The rooms are still under construction, but I can get you food and drink if you like. Let's see what you've got. Okay, lots of stuff, camping supplies and all that. Cool. A dragon egg dish. What? Ooh, wow. Oh, plus three resolve. Okay, that would have been the thing that we would have needed to eat right before uh, talking with the lady. Well, well, uh, I should have, I should have, I should have remembered that. Okay, well, there we go. Let's go in here. Ah, we can actually loot this and get some meats. Oh, and we can get this as well. That is those lost in the flood. Okay. Now let's go up to the tippy top. Tippy top is a technical term that I like to use many times. Ah, still working. I see. I think it's going to take like, you know, a day and another thing's finished and another day and all the other stuff is finished. So I hope they give us free rooms because that would be that would be absolutely fantastic. Aha! There is some loot. Ooh, Lilith's Shawl. Aura of Stealth of Perception plus three. Ooh, that'll be useful. We'll give that to Sagani. Ah, true stories from the living lands. Okay, let's go ahead and get that equipped, actually. Sagani, how would you like to have a cloak? I like cloaks. I don't have a cloak, because uh, cloaks where I'm living is a little bit, uh, a little bit impractical. Let's see what else we have. Okay, max endurance bonus, healing bonus, reflex plus five. Uh, no, we're, we'll keep that there. There we go. Now we can go back down the stairs. Yeah, I definitely wanted to get that, uh, get that loot before <laughs> we disappeared. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to um, play the Banner Saga. I also have uh, this, uh, um, my eye on a game called uh, uh, Cat Quest. It's like a uh, action RPG, but with kitty cats. Um, so that's something I also might want to take a look at. Um, but I think, I think the Banner Saga is the next thing I'm going to do. I think because it's taking such a long time to get through Pillars of Eternity and, and Tyranny... I think those, I might push them off to maybe like once a week. Uh, I think I need to concentrate on some shorter games, uh, or at least games that I can get through a little bit faster, just like with Brigador. Uh, and these longer term games, I think I'll uh, uh, do on like the weekend. So I might switch everything a bit, but that would require getting those new games in. And uh, sadly, my funds are a little bit limited. Uh, but such is the life of, uh, of what I've chosen to do. Uh, let's actually check something real quick. All costs, okay. Voice from the past. Uh, all hands on deck. Okay. It's unlikely that. Okay, right. I should probably search for that clandestine cargo. 
Nans and Brack. Oh, right. I can take them to there. Right. Okay, so we have all of this stuff we actually need to. Uh, Parable of Whale. Right. Blade of the Endless Pass. Okay, yes. We're definitely actually going to rescour Brackenbury. Ramshackle House, already been in there. Abandoned House. Col uh, Colfkig's House and Abandoned House. Okay, so these are the two places that we are going to check out. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's zoom out, of course. Ah, I mean, I do have other games in my library that I could, I could go through. Um, this whole YouTube thing has actually been quite a learning experience for me. Um, I'm definitely glad I've started this because it's given me a chance to... Um, Give me just one moment. It's given me a chance to sort of uh, get a routine in place for my life, and that's that's been nice. Okay, that's probably going to be camping supplies that we left. Yep. Okay. Let's come back in here. Hello. Hello. Okay. Still nothing in here. Let's check back in here. I shall be discreet. Oh, okay, cool. Well, let's go check the other abandoned house. Uh, I think we might have to do a little bit more scouring, actually. Hmm. It's a little odd. Little odd in dealy do. Uh, let's see. Ha! I've also been taking a look at Twitch. Uh, unfortunately, been on your own for five years, but you can't talk to him. My standards changed around year two. <laughs> well, there we go for that. Let's go back in here to the Col Kolfkeg's house, I think is the name. Oh, 177,000 fans. Holy moly. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to this person. Who are you? The elf who lives here. Leave. No, okay, so I have no idea what we're going to be doing in there, so, eh. hmm, let's see, I'm trying to think here, I mean, let's, let's definitely check out this abandoned house again, um, for that chest, I can't remember where some of these, uh, locations are, okay, what do we got here? Addict. No. Okay. No. Can we talk to that person? No. Okay. So still nothing to do here. Let's take a look at the map again. Hmm. 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 Come on. Finish loading. Okay. Got the ramshackle house. And salty mast. We could try the Ramshackle House again. Uh, let's let's see if that'll uh, reveal anything different. Oh, Ada's house. Maybe that'll be different. Let's try there. Let's uh, zoom uh, zoom uh, back out again. Yeah, I am so excited for the BattleTech game, though. It is going to be amazing, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, it's uh, Hairbrain Schemes has done. Quite a lot of awesome stuff with uh, with the uh, uh, Shadowrun games, and I'm excited to see what they have for the Mech Warrior era, era, like universe. I need to get me in the cockpit of a uh, battle mech again. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Okay, Odda. Let's see if we can talk with her. Oh, right. Okay. The woman looks like she hasn't slept in days. Her hair is a rat and rat's nest of tangles, and her eyes are lined with shadows. She casts an anxious glance at the door. Her eyes widen, somewhere between hope and apprehension. Are you here about Darren? I found Darren. Thank the Sea Mother, where is he? You may want to sit down. Darren won't be coming back. Otta's mouth falls open, and she stares back in shock. My boy's dead? That can't be. What happened? <sighs> I 
Darren was defending one of the prostitutes from a couple of thugs. He was very brave, and you should be proud. She sobs and quickly brings a hand to her mouth. Her eyes are bright with tears. Gods! How could this make it any better? I would have never let my boy die for one of those women, and yet... She chokes into her sleeve. I can only pray the gods will be kinder to him in the next life. Maybe there is hope for one of my children. After several seconds, she closes her eyes and swallows. I suppose it's better to know the truth than to keep wondering. Thank you, at least, for bringing me answers. Here, take these. I've been saving several keepsakes for Darren one day, but he won't need them now. And I doubt I'll have another child to pass them on to. Oh. It breaks the heart. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. A fine dagger and a ring of minor protection. So let's go ahead and... Flames, Gon's Pledge. Let's see what Gon's Pledge is. 15 Endurance. Uh, we're going to give you a Ring of Protection. And we're going to give the Gon's Pledge to Durance. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Every, one of the things that I've noticed since becoming a parent is that in a lot of... You know, when I was playing games before being a parent, Sometimes they'll, they'll have characters who are who are parents themselves, and... I'll grant you that Animancy has had its failures, bowel reach among them. But does that warrant attacks on innocent practitioners? Superstitious kith have spilled their share of blood. That's no comparison. Animancers have the advantage of education, and with that comes authority and responsibility. I have to say, it's wonderful to have someone to debate with. You'd think they'd be more welcoming of it at the Law College. Or we could enjoy a glass of wine and a comfortable silence. In that little interaction, I'm actually on uh, uh, Aloth's side. I mean, while I get what Kana is saying, if you do have knowledge and expertise, you do have responsibility to handle things properly. Anyways, what I was saying before, before I became a parent, when I was playing games that included people who were parents, uh, I mean, of course, it was a touching story and everything, but now I have far different reactions to all of it than, than I would have otherwise. Um, I like that change, I think. I think it draws me into the games a bit more. It makes me think about things, certainly. Um, it's... In some cases, it makes it difficult to play, especially uh, given certain kinds of stories. Well, met friend. Uh, never mind. Okay. Fine. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Okay. So, we do know that the uh, uh, sea chest is unlikely to have made it outside of Andra's gift. So, let's just take another look. Uh, on shore is yet to hear the incident. It's unlikely it's made. I should start my search here. Clandestine cargo. I need to take that to Frackenbury. Okay, where can we look? I think we'll need to work in here somewhere. I think that is where we'll need to go. But yeah, it's it's been far different uh, uh, being a... Um, being a father and playing these these kinds of storylines uh, than it has been uh, just, you know, not being one. And I don't mean for that to sound like overly... Um, I don't know. Uh, high and mighty is probably not the best word for it. But it, it does, it has changed things. I mean, uh, at least for me. Uh, your, your mileage may vary, of course. Okay, there we go. Have you seen anyone come this way carrying a large chest? It depends. Have you come carrying copper? Okay, we'll pay the, the you know, bribery. Okay, cool. The coins disappear from your hand. They went south, along the pier. 
Ooh, the game is afoot. Actually, no, the game is a role-playing game by Obsidian Entertainment. It is not by a foot, nor is it of a foot. If it was, then this would be a lot stinkier. Okay, a thug. Walder Three Fingers. Four people stand gathered around what appears to be a wooden chest. One of them, a grizzled and rough-looking character, looks up at, uh, up at you and then sneers. Took a wrong turn somewhere, did you? Best turn around and walk on. Lefty Lisk. <laughs> There's a sudden snapping sound from the direction of the chest, and the second. Smaller man lets out a frustrated groan. <laughs> Damn it! That's the second luck pit! He looks up at you and stills. Oh. Walder rolls his eyes and then turns to you. You've walked down your last pier. I don't think so. Okay, come on. There we go. We're just gonna totally wreck these guys. Okay, let's go ahead and get that going. Let's get your defense going, and we're gonna tackle these folks with an arcane blast. There we go. Wonderful. Oh yeah, these these guys are just getting torn apart. Absolutely torn asunder. Okay, let's go ahead and blast him again. Oh, you two monsters down. Oh well. I don't think we have to worry too much about it. Okay, there we go. Oh, right. Teach you a lesson. I forgot about you. All hands on deck. Okay. Indeed, we do. Okay, we're that was the alarm, but we are actually going to. Uh, hey there. We are actually going to complete this quest real quick. Okay, a lockpick and some blast guns and some weapons. Okay. Ah, we're not going to unlock it. We're going to take the sea chest. Okay, cool. Sure. Return it to Marceno. So let's go ahead and do that. Definitely do. Alrighty, this shouldn't take too terribly long. Uh, but yeah, so about that little debate that Aloth and Kana had, um, it's one of those things. It's it. I could I could say okay, I'm totally on Aloth's side or I'm totally on Kana's side, and truth is, depending on the context. Either one of them could be right. Uh, generally speaking, though, I'm more in favor of, of Aloth uh, for the simple matter that uh, and there's a reason why we have eth ethics com uh, committees when we're doing research. I mean, there's a reason why we don't do research on just about on just anyone in any way that we possibly can. Um, there's far more like w w without having people who are experts on knowing right and wrong, which again is ethics, is philosophy, then people end up getting a little carried away. Um, and that's not entirely a good thing sometimes. Okay, there we go, Marceno. Well met, friend. Marceno fidgets nervously. He grins hopefully at you. Any luck finding the captain's chest? <laughs> Here you are, contents intact. You did it! I mean, I, I knew you would, but oh, thank you. It's all here. Continue. You saved my life, friend. Truly, I owe you one. Here, the week's wages, like I promised. Um, hmm. No need for that. You keep it. Re really? I... Oh, thank you again for all you've done. At, at least take this. I picked it up while we were in port and ate her as a good luck charm. But I want you to have it. I won't forget this. Ooh, drinking horn of moderation added to the inventory. Okay, let's go ahead and see what that is. Ooh, intellect plus two. Let's go ahead and give that to Durance. Okay, yes, we are definitely going to give that to Durance. Okay, cloak of minor protection. Max endurance bonus. Let's go ahead and give him a cloak. Alrighty, we're going to call that the end of the episode. If you've enjoyed, go ahead and hit that like button or give me some feedback if you prefer. Of course, a subscription to the channel would also be most amazing. Um, 
but certainly not required. As always, it's great to see you all here at the Fox Den. I hope you come back next time and uh, pull up a chair for some more Pillars of Eternity. Already, you take care now. All right, bye.